This is a message to you, Martin Sweeney in Castle Bar from the fall Bernard McDonough. I'm here in Lourdes, yeah? Now, I seen you in the priest's house last night and your daughter Chantel. Chantel took the Bible in her hand uh, and she made the WhatsApp. Sean made the WhatsApp, what he shouldn't have done. There are men and wife. But Mary Sweeney, what are you getting involved in, when Sean and Tell and Sean was married a few months. You were involved in their wedding the whole way along. You have been leaving Chantel everything that she's telling you. Right. Sean has tell Chantel bits and pieces too. We don't take no news. And I told Lily over 12 months ago I wouldn't be involved in any argument. Right. Martin Sweeney left his hand last night. It totally wrong. He left his hand like that, his right hand in the Bible. And I swear to that Christ that he done it one hundred percent in lies. Because Martin Trina said he travelled a thousand miles down to Kent that his daughter was getting bed up and getting bellies and bellies of scandal. Right. Now I knew that Martin Sweeney was coming over, picking her up, but he wasn't a man himself and his two sons. He went to the police station where I'm living and he got back up to come out and, and, and meet Chantel and pick her up. Then he went home. But when we knew Chantel was gone, right, he could be he could be on the ferry going. I phoned my brother Terry there and I told him to go over to Yelly and I was on the phone. Right. I also told my brother Sarah that Watson was coming back and, and send his wife Mary, bring his wife Mary over and take off some tilt clothes. See, has she any black marks or anything on her? The charm was supposed to bear her up or this or that. Right. Now, I asked Chantel in the ground and I have a person went home. Is it fair enough to tell the truth? To Sean bear her. Yeah, he hood her with a plastic drum, a water drum. Oh, but she didn't want Sean to go to the pub, right? Now, Sean, she still went down to the pub in a later stage with Sean and two more people. I forget who she went for. Now, the one of a McDonald's, this is a McDonald's in, 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 in Lourdes that I'm in. The one of a McDonald's, yeah? And Sean was supposed to give her two slaps in, the, in that. I seen the before she went home, I swear to my poor mother, she, she, there was nothing up for her. Martin Sweeney said last night, he thought he was getting bad, bad as a scandal, and she'd getting better up over here. I swear to my mother, and I swear to my father above in heaven, I didn't see Chantel get no time getting better up, and I heard not about the scandal, as I would, however they mix up with the scandal, the watch up the Sean man, and the one that Chantel met back to him. Now that's the first of the scandal that I heard, and I don't know, is it Sean has, has got it, or is it Chantel? Sean has his story, Chantel is making up her story, so we don't know which of the stories is right. If Sean is giving her candle about her brothers, she, Sean is one 100% in the wrong of that. Now, Sean is saying that he, Chantel is saying them this after when he, if he goes to the pub tonight and, and, and in the morning he's telling her this. But when, when, when Sean was back to the day when they were separated in Castle Bear, if there had any problems like this, why didn't they sort it out? Why didn't they sort it? Why didn't they set it, sort out all the problems? Now, the way another time there, over a year, a year and a half ago, they were out in France. She got Sean, she got my, my son uh, Simon and Banton, uh, uh, oh, the main house for the money. She got the deal, we locked up for two or three months, all over again, bringing the police in around the camp. You were on the phone to me, Martin Sweeney. She was getting left behind. Would I go over? I was out the country in England. I told you I was out. I would go over and pick them up. But I, I can't see Francie and Rose Margaret leaving them behind. 
Now you were t you were telling me in the phone there was no there was another mix up over in in friends over more scandal. I didn't know nothing about it. I was at the of my family. I told you she wouldn't be left behind. She was brought safe and well back, and you picked her up and brought her home again. She was at the hundred percent with your arm was locked up. She got home. I put her on the plane. She was at my place. Now you're getting involved in the wedding, and I swear to my mother, tis you, tis you was doing it, Martin Twilly. And I swear to my mother in heaven, I never went around the country and make a watch top and saying that Sean is beating her up, giving her loads of scandal. That's, that's wrong. If I would, if I knew that Sean had given Chantel the scandal, I never had nothing but known my daughter or not, or known or, or Chantel for to be giving her scandal, or hear any scandal about her. I swear that all the middle in that. And I tell my brother Charlie, and I tell all the boys that, the biggest mistake that Sean ever made, five or six weeks ago, when he was separated, we had him towed for not to go back around you, make no contact, because no good. You catch that contact him in the phone, and you got him back, you got him back to catch the bear. He was two weeks back there with you, and why didn't you sort out all your problems for, at that time, not to be waiting until now? You know what I mean? You were behind every bit of it, Martin Sweeney. And I swear to my, my mother on that. Now your son just going along and they're saying, Michael, oh, he, he wants to fight Sean. Michael wouldn't be able to fight Sean. Or your son Bernard wouldn't be able to fight Sean. And ye have no one. Ye, ye have no one. How many you want in to, in, how many you went in a, a packing ambulance and got yourself locked up when you went into young Darcy's house and broke one window and you may think that somebody had brought Peter Handelin with plenty of information for, for you and uh, you were going for 